Black Monday. Not a lot of surprises here. We kind of yeah. knew what was coming with the coaches being fired. Anthony Lynn of the Chargers, he's out. Doug Marone with the Jaguars is out. And Adam Gase fired by the Jets as well. So Chargers, Jaguars, Jets. Quarterback issues with all of them except for the Chargers. They have Justin Herbert. But if you take the Jaguars job, you got the number one pick. You can get Trevor Lawrence if you would like. The Jets have the number two pick. Which of those three jobs would you like to have the most? I want the Chargers job. I, I mean, you know, again, I, Trevor Lawrence, I'm a huge fan. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to sit here and tell you right now that I think he's definitely going to be better than Justin Herbert. I don't know that. I, they're, they're very similar people. Mm-hmm. You know, and... Head start on one of the questions I'm getting at you as soon as the Super Bowl is over. You have Herbert and Burrow and Lawrence in the same class. How right. do you rank them? I know. You can just think about it now. Yeah, well, I, mean, I, need to, I want to evaluate, get some but you're that. right. I'm sure I will. But Because it know, might be third. Well, because it might be. I mean, there's no joke. I don't know where that goes. It's yeah. going to be interesting. Trevor Lawrence is awesome. We know that. Is it a little blown out of proportion? Yes, because he's Clemson and he's in the national finals or semifinals every year, and I get all that. Listen, if Justin Herbert played on Clemson the last few years, the results would have been the same. Mm-hmm. I don't, don't, don't think differently there. So, you know, I'm mo- I would be most excited to get that job. Yeah. Plus, you got some defensive pieces in place. Yeah. You know, there's a few receivers that you can, of course, Keenan Allen, yeah. and figure out what you want to do with Mike Williams, and you can play with that aspect. You know, so I think there's a lot of positives there. But we know what Herbert is already. And I think Trevor Lawrence will be a superstar. I think he's very similar mm-hmm. to Herbert. I would go, I think Herbert's a hair better thrower than Trevor Lawrence. I think Trevor Lawrence is a better athlete than Justin Herbert. That's how I kind of view it. And not to say either one is too far behind in either category there. Right. Um, but Herbert is so special that I sit here and go, Chargers, mm-hmm. start the arms race. Yeah. Go all in on offense in L.A. and steal the show and get signed receivers and go Kansas City in the division on Kansas City. And go get who is your head coach. And I want to say – Get it, Brian Dayball. Listen, I love Eric Bieniemy. Mm-hmm. I love him, and he has to be a head coach this year. I'm not a fan of let's take a coach from one of our rivals and now bring him into our division. Like, tell me when in the history that's really worked. We're going to copy the team in our division, mm-hmm. and now we're going to one up them with their with the, with one of the guys that learned from the guy over there. I don't see that. I don't but know. But you also have all that knowledge that he has of the Great. team you're chasing. I'm going to go with the teacher to win those matchups, though, more times than not. Yeah. The teacher taught the, the pupil, mm-hmm. and he's, I, I just trust that more. I wouldn't right. mess with that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's my Bill Parcells to, to uh, you know, uh, Hanley. Mm-hmm. Uh, what the hell is Ray Hanley? Yeah. Where he just, I want to go. It, it, Ask your dad about that. Yeah, right. right. Not the greatest. I just, yeah. I, I don't like that in division thing. Mm-hmm. To me, I would go day ball chargers. Now we have a different offense. Andy Reid doesn't know our offense and doesn't know what to Good expect. Point. And we yeah. have our own style and things like that. And he seems to be more attached to Josh's development than Mahomes' development, giving credit to, to the enemy, whether it's right or it's wrong. Yeah, right? I, I think you're right. I think you are right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, you're talking about uh, with, uh, with I'm B- talking about Dable. Yes. D- his, his star has Agreed. become brighter as Agreed. Josh has gotten better. You're right. Maybe more so than the enemies because Andy Reid gets so Andy much Reed credit Andy Reid got the enemy. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Was Dable in, in New England when you were there? He was there with me just, to, just towards the end. Okay, right? so like best thing about him besides the incredible – way both those offenses play yeah no I think he's like he is just I think the best way I would he's just a man's man a normal guy there was never pettiness or politics when I was in a room with him Mm. which I always appreciate yeah listen there was coaches up in New England who they wouldn't talk to me they didn't like me Mm -hmm. then I said I was leaving and they were like oh man it was great working with you right we had such I wish we could have spent more time and I'm like no you were competing and jealous of me and you treated me like Mm -hmm. day ball was always great like always, the same guy, not threatened, comfortable in his own skin, mm-hmm. trying to learn ball, and yeah. easy to talk to. Right. And I think that's why you see Stefan Diggs has, has a change in his career. Yeah. Josh Allen, and you're talking about his development. Yeah, that's directly with Dayball. Right. He's taught them football, offense, how to act on and off the field, and how to just man up. Like, we played like sh- Sorry, we'll be back next week right. and not make excuses. That's what I love about day ball. If I'm the Chargers, I'm going all day ball. So a few years ago, I was doing the preseason games with Trent right. Green for the Chiefs, and Brian was there. 
I think he I think he was the offensive coordinator. If he wasn't, he was working somewhere high by the offense. Right. But I went to Kansas City to spend a day there to get to know the team. And it was that day in June, the last day of minicamp before the coaches get four or five weeks off. They get time with their family and they were all packing up, going somewhere. They were out there. They're in a rush. Right. Brian knew that I wanted to sit down with him and re really kind of talk personnel. What are you going to do scheme wise? Because it would really help me. What does he care? But it would help me with the preseason games. He stayed later than all the other coaches to spend an hour and a half with me yeah. running Not through shot. personnel, right? running through, here's what we're going to be looking for in the preseason. So like you say, he's a man's man. Guys will like him. Right. My two hours with him lines right up with that. That's what I mean. It's just, you know, the respect for human beings that comes off. You see that. Right. He's earned his way. Yes, it's the New England offense, but he's got his own style and, and, and you know, just his own spin on what he's done with it. His time in college at Alabama, all of those things. He's That's taken right. away yeah. a little bit of everything mm -hmm. to where, yeah, it's the New England offense, but it's got more to offer that way. And he's on fire as a play caller. I love Eric Bieniemy. Like I said, if I'm the sure. Houston Texans, I'm going Eric Bieniemy. Yeah. That's where I'd want I just him. Just to think about him with Deshaun. That would be amazing. Yeah. Right. I'm just not a big fan in let's steal a coach from within our division That's and fair. think that we're going to be better than the team that was in our division that mm -hmm. we're stealing this guy from and they were already the Kings. Right. I don't know if that works. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.